Welcome to EDU Arrow Classes. In this tutorial, we will discuss sets and how to describe a set and types of sets. Set is defined as a well-defined collection of objects. Where object is the element which constitutes the set. For example, there is a set of natural numbers denoted by n and given 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. These numbers are called elements and this whole is known as set of natural numbers. Description of set. A set can be described in two ways. First form is roster form. In this method, a set is described by listing elements separated by comma within this. For example, consider a set of natural numbers. We can represent a set of natural numbers as within a braces. Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, so on to this. And this element, uh, these numbers are called elements. And this whole representation is a set. Second form is set builder method. Uh, uh, in a uh, set builder method, a set is described by a characterizing property that is Px of its element x, which is, which is represented as x is such that px old or x is a z px old. This can be read, these two symbols represent such that. And this can be read as the set of all x such that px hold. Now for example, the set e of all even numbers can be written as E is equal to X is such that X belongs to N and X is equal to 2N for all N belongs to N. This is small. Here it is defined that X is such that X belongs to natural number and such that natural num it should be multiple of 2 and N belongs to a natural number. This symbol denotes belongs to. Okay. There are various types of sets. First is finite and infinite set. Sets which have a finite number of elements are called finite sets, and those having infinite number of elements are called infinite sets. For example, Set of natural numbers 1 to infinity. That is, this is called infinite set. Because there are not finite elements in the set. Or we can say alphabet, set of alphabet. This is A, B, C till Z. This is called finite set because we know the number of elements in the set. Second one is equivalent set. Equivalent sets are those sets. Two finite sets are equivalent if their cardinal number are same. That is, cardinal number means if A is a set having two C elements, 1, 2, 3. And B is a set having C elements, X, Y, Z. 
कार्डिनल नंबर मीन्स नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन द सेट नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन द सेट इज कार्डिनल नंबर so there both the sets have same cardinal number that is 3 so both the sets are equivalent set a and b sets are equivalent next set is empty or null set which is defined as a set having no elements are called empty or null set which is noted as phi next is equal sets two sets are said to be equal if they have same number same elements that is if it is a set a which is defined as 1 2 3 and set b which is defined as 2 3 one as both the sets have the same element therefore a and b are equal elements equal sets because their elements are same that is 1 is equal to 1 2 is equal to 2 3 is equal to 3 next is subsets a set a is said to be subset of b if set a contains all the elements of set b which is represented as a is a subset of b This is this symbol is a of subset. If set A has has n elements, then number of subsets of A is two to the power n. next is proper subset a is called a proper subset of b if b has at least one element more than that of a provided that it should have all the elements of a it is noted as a is a proper set of b b is a proper set of a sorry a is a proper set of b for example consider a set a which is noted by 1 2 subsets of a are 5 phi. phi is a subset of each set 1 2 and 1 2 and proper subset proper subset are phi 1 and 2 next is power set a set whose elements are all subsets of set a is called proper set of set a it is noted by p for example if s is a set having elements a and b then p of a will be 5 a b and a 
Here power set is denoted within a curly basis. Next is universal set. Universal set U is super set of all the sets under consideration. That is, it, it is a superset of all the sets, consists of all the elements of all the sets. 